your buddy Atratsu is going to teach you a trick. On this level, if you make it this far, remember to do this and you can skip the entire headache if you get stuck on a spot. This will get you through this final level really, really easily. So you walk around like so. And then you go here. Oh, we got to go a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Almost there. Tiny bit more. Almost there. You are welcome. And the rest of this is smooth sailing. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Atratsu and I am here to share my thoughts or my report on Drop Alive. Drop Alive is an indie developed game by the developer known as Envy Games and was released on Steam December 2016. So Drop Alive is basically a 2D platformer where you take control of a, I guess, sentient living water drop who navigates through the world. Let's just get started. As you can see, I have already played through all of the different levels. I have all the achievements as well. Apparently it reset my save, but that's fine. I got all my achievements. I don't need to do anything else with that. A lot of the feedback that I've seen on this game is that a lot of people seem to have problems with the controls, and I agree. I did have some problems with controls as well. Let's get started. So, a couple things you should keep in mind about the game going into it. You see your little drop guy right here. I actually have a skin on him right now. And as you move around, you lose you lose your water droplet slowly over time from movement. So as you move around, you slowly get short, smaller and smaller and smaller until inevitably inevitably You go bloop, and then you have to restart your level. So, you don't want to move around too much unless you are close to a water source. So, if we get ourselves smaller again, and then we jump into this glass of water, notice that we get significantly bigger. Now, we're currently, I think that's bread, right? Huh? So, now you can see the full motion there. So that's the core concept. Other than that, it's moving right and left. Different obstacles that you come in contact with and getting from water source to water source to get through the level. Yep, there we go. Now you'll notice I'm collecting these yellow coin things. These yellow coins will also replenish your water supply on your character. And they're also an extra that you can get for achievements. I downloaded this game during the Steam Summer Sale when they had, well, the 2017 Steam Summer Sale. And I was playing it so that I could get the stickers that they were offering at the time because you needed to get an achievement. And I was like, but I've got achievements in most of my games. And I didn't want to start a game with thousands of achievements. So I was like, this is the one I'm going to do. So I want to show really quick. Let's go here. As you can see, it does have controller support. I've played this entirely with the keyboard and mouse, though. Just the keyboard part, of course, not the mouse. So, I wanted to go back here to be able to show the skins. As you get the extra unlockables, you are able to spend them on getting different skins for your little water droplet. So, let's open this up here. As you can see, I unlocked all of these skins. So you got a swimmer dude, you got a rubber ducky earring. You've got the cool sunglasses, and then this is the default look, as this is the default look for the Frozen, and this is the default look for the Water Vapor form. If you wanted to purchase something like this, Space Bar, ta-da, that's pretty cool. We'll go with that one. So now, wait, what's that? That's cute. That's cute. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And then you got the Rainbow Wand, and as you can see, you're spending the extra tokens that you get. So you got... Nimbus Cloud, yes please, that's the one we're going with. Alright, so, we've made some adjustments with them. And this is just kind of a nice effect that they added into the game as an extra that you can do. As you play through the game, so this is level 2. Wait, 
Was that level two? Let's go back really quick and check. I wish that it... Stop. Stop. Go faster. Kind of wish that... Yeah, you can't use the mouse at all in this, so I can't slide it any faster than this to go all the way through. So going back in levels and trying to get stuff does get to be a bit of a headache. Okay, no, I skipped a level. But that's fine. We'll skip a level. So that's level two, and level two is very much the same as level one. You get to learn a little bit more about the platforming. Jumping into level three, this is when you interact with... No, not the cat one. I chose the sunglasses one. This is when you run into a whole new type of problem. You have to go through here. As you can see, the water droplet is slowly getting smaller. If the fire touches me at any point, I will die. Now this will restore our size to us. Then you can jump on this and you turn into a cloud. And you've got some different controls as a cloud. So you can uh, press spacebar to go down. And if you get touched by the water, then you turn into your water droplet form again. And then you continue up. If you touch a wall, you turn back into your water droplet form. So that's kind of the way that this works. And here is an extra. So you would want that if you want to get the extra stuff in the game. And that's about it. We haven't shown you where the other extra is, but I'm sure you could figure that one out. This game is extremely forgiving for the first. Uh, let's get out of here. For the first, maybe three-fourths of the game, it's really simple. And then stuff really starts to heat up at... Stuff got a little bit tricky at Sparkway to Heaven. And then the only level that I really had... I, there were two levels I had significant problems with, and it was this one. The second to the last level and the last level, where that's probably the platforming that a lot of people are complaining about. But that being said, I pumped in an, a total of two hours of playtime into the game to get all the achievements, got them. It's a very straightforward, easy platformer. It's completely free. I've got no complaints whatsoever. It's absolutely adorable. I love the sprites. There's extras in there. And then after you complete the game, then you can play time attack mode. And this is something that I just can't be bothered with. I really don't care to do time attack mode. If they added an achievement that forced me to, I guess I would just because that's, I've got all the other achievements. I'd try that one. Time attack mode is just basically you start from level one and you go through the entire thing as fast as you can. You don't get checkpoints or stop points between levels. You start from level one and then you end at level whatever the last level was. I think there were about ten levels or so. That's really all there is to say about it. It's a fun little game. The platforming, there are three There are three different stages, and I'm trying not to reveal everything because you could definitely download this and play it for yourself in no time flat. Play through it. Play and uninstall after you're done. So there's the, the ice form as well. And each, each level, as you progress through the game, you meet a little bit of a different mechanic that you learn how to work with. The water droplet can bounce off of walls. The water vapor form has its own behavior. And you need to learn how to platform within the area. And you can't dilly-dally too much. Otherwise, you'll lose your water droplet and you'll have to reset. For people who are planning on getting this for the achievement, I have some good news to let you know. These coins that you're getting, you don't need to get them all in one run. You can get one, and then you can die. So, like, I got all three of those, and I can die. And even though they are back, I should be able to finish the level without having them. Now, I don't know if we can do that in an actual live level, and I don't know if I want to try to demonstrate just how frustrating some of the final levels are. Yeah, it's not a, not a good example. But this is one that I'm missing in the beginning. So I can get the first one in this level and ignore the final two. And that'll give me credit for getting all of those droplets. So the game is very forgiving in that sense. But I would recommend, you know, double check that at the beginning before you play and be like, all right, we got one. We're going to skip these two. Let's get the final two and make sure that it all counts. I think I did that. I'm 90% sure that that's what I did. But it's been a little bit since... 
I played this game for the Steam Summer Sale, played through it all again, an hour. It's not going to take too much time. But that's all I really have to say about this game. It was a fun, quick little play and forget. Definitely worth your time checking out if you're looking just to play something really short just for a little bit. Definitely do check it out. Thanks for watching. My name's Atratsu, and stay tuned for future unscripted My Thoughts videos. See you next time.